the hardest thing to do in this world. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. And honestly, this is a video that I wasn't gonna make because I don't think people will, oh, the sun feels good. <sighs> it feels really good. I don't think people will, um, maybe, I don't think the message will resonate. So let me just tell you what it is. It's, it's to think for yourself. And the reason that this is so hard is because we all live in a society, right? You may live in a, in a different place than me, perhaps a different country, but we all live in a society and we're bound by societal norms and we're influenced by everything. We're influenced by the people around us, the media, YouTube, this video, your family, your friends, everything is an influence. And so that's what makes it so hard. And so what happens in societies, and, and this is a really, yeah, I'll talk about it, but what happens in societies is that people tend to gravitate towards groupthink. You know, people naturally want to be part of communities. You know, the whole, I want to find my tribe thing is a very popular thing. People like to belong to communities. They like to be a part of something. It's like a, a human instinct. And so with that comes influence. You're influenced by that group. And so it influences your thinking, which is not good, right? Because that's when bad things can happen in societies, right? If you get a bunch of people who think a certain way, that way could be damaging. You know, I always think of the, of the philosophers. They would always say, I'm paraphrasing here, if no one is harmed, then is it a crime? So when you have these groups and they are doing things that are harming others, then it is a crime. But sometimes it's not. And so sometimes you have situations where people think it's a crime and it's not. You have these people in these groupthink mentalities which are totally flawed and illogical, but they exist because people lack the ability to think for themselves. And so the message I wanna send in this video, it's cold out here, is that you need to learn to think for yourself. And it's hard, it's hard, it's a struggle. I think every day when, when you wake up, every day when you go out in the world, at least for a brief moment when you're having some thought, or when you encounter something, you're like, hey, wait a minute, question it. Think for yourself. You know, part of, well, part of going to college, there's, there's a lot of things that are good about going to college. I know there's a lot of anti-college rhetoric out there. I, I don't think that's good. I think it's, overall, it's a good thing. Part of going to college is to become educated. And part of that means learning to think for yourself. And I don't want to give specific examples of, of this, but, you know, I, I turned on the news yesterday. I don't, I don't watch television. And I had made some chicken and potatoes in the oven. I turned on the TV and the news was on. And I started watching the news. And some of the stuff in the news was stuff that I had, already, I had already seen on the internet. But the way it was being explained on the news and the way it was being portrayed was very sensational. And that's because that's what sells, right? Sensationalism sells. If you think about all the famous people throughout history, what did they all have in common? It was all sensationalism. It was always something new or groundbreaking. That's what draws attention. 
That's what human beings are attracted to. So the news media, I'm not saying it's bad, but same with social media, it's all about sensationalism. And so it flaws, it messes with your thinking, right? So think for yourself, think for yourself. And you can apply this to anything, right? You can apply it to your dietary habits. You can apply it to religion. You can apply it to politics. You can apply it to financial decisions. You can apply it to workout routines. I mean, you can apply this to every single thing. Oh, the sun, there it is. You can apply this to every single thing in your life. And unfortunately, I think that maybe 99% of the population doesn't do this because again, we're just living our lives. Life is hard enough. You know, you have to get up, you have to go to work. Maybe you have kids and you have a family. You don't have time to sit there and think, hey, am I really thinking for myself? But trust me, my friends, when you start thinking for yourself, it's like you're taking it to the next level. It's like a developmental phase that you didn't know had to be unlocked. And, and now you're going to start unlocking it after watching this video. So start questioning everything and thinking for yourself. And I'm not saying like, oh, you know, go out there and be aggressive and start attacking people for their views. No, 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 no. Be smart about it. Don't, don't cause any damage, right? Don't, don't harm others. Don't, you know, but think for yourself, right? Make your own decisions. And when you start thinking for yourself and you start questioning things, you're going to see that a lot of people are stuck in this group thing. You know, it's, it's like, there's so many groups like this where if you say one thing that is against the group ideology, they'll, they'll, you, you can't be part of the group. It's like, it's like you can't have your own views. And I think human beings are unique in the sense that each of us is different and each of us should be allowed to have our own views and our own opinions without having to you know succumb to this to this group think you know i have a a, a a person i know one person i know in my life who also agrees with me but other than that i i, I don't really know anyone else who who follows this philosophy so I just wanted to make this video because I don't know I just wanted to put it out there maybe maybe it resonates with one person maybe one person agrees <laughs> that's a win for me if someone agrees because like, I, I know one person who embraces this this free thinking philosophy and again most people don't most people don't it's it's uh it's strange it's a strange thing odd so yeah I don't know I don't know I think it can help you it, it, it can unlock opportunities it will change the way you look at life it will change the decisions you make you know I mean, in every possible aspect I think it can really help you level up in in many many ways but yeah Oh, there's the sun again. There's the sun. Oh, it's so warm. It's actually cold out here and I'm wearing shorts, but the sun came out and I thought, let me go for a walk. I, I got up early and I've been proofreading some mathematics, endless amounts of mathematics for a book or books. It just, take, it just takes forever to go through math. Math is math is hard. Anyways, be a free thinker. Think for yourself. Don't follow the group think. Stay strong.